I'm so grateful for the competition because I don't think I would be this far along if, if it hadn't been for that, you know, because also like just being in the competition helps me to look at my personal life and what I need to continue to refine to show up for trading every day in like my best capacity, you know? So it's like, okay, <laughs> if I want to keep being in the run, you know, in the top 20, what am I doing, you know, that's keeping me from doing that, you know? So like just asking myself those questions because of the competition is helping me to just grow a lot faster. So today I got the pleasure of meeting Felicia, who is absolutely smashing the Trading Nut competition sponsored by CTI. So Felicia has been a trader for 13 years and is currently floating 15%. So in this interview, you get to know a little bit about her, about her experiences, and she goes through in detail what strategy she is using that has made her 15% in, in less than a month. That's an amazing performance. So if you're interested in the Trading Up competition, you can register for the next one. The link is in the description below. Now, before we begin the interview, I just wanna remind you that on Friday, the 3rd of June, we are going to be hosting a live stream on YouTube announcing all of the winners of the first Training Nut competition. So make sure that you attend because we're going to be giving away so many prizes. And if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Hey, Felicia, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Very good. For, thank you for joining. Um, so, yeah, you're, you're in the Training Nut competition that CTI is sponsoring and you're doing really well. So I wanted to find out a little bit about you uh, as a trader, your experience, and maybe you could share with everybody with your, your strategy perhaps. So yeah, I mean, what, what, who are you Felicia? And how did, how did you, how did you get into trading in the first place? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so I went to um, school for finance. Yeah. Um, I went, uh, got my bachelor's in finance and as I was graduating, like, um, the investment banking positions, you had to have a high GPA. You had to like be very smart and very, they were very particular about the people that they chose to go into that industry. And I wasn't qualified for that. So after I graduated, I didn't really get a job in an area that I really wanted to, and so I started to kind of do research on my own. Like I hear that there's a lot of traders out there that don't really need um, a company to back them. So I was just like, well, maybe I can learn the market myself. And that's kind of where it all started. I started looking for, you know, just videos and courses that I could take online to get more information, more knowledge about um, the stock market. So I really started stocks and penny stocks. And then I finally moved to the Forex market. And that's where I've been for a long, like, it's been like 13 year journey of learning all of these aspects of the trading industry. Wow. 13 years. That's, that's a long time. You must have yes. a lot, a lot of uh, trial and error, a lot of wisdom behind you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So it's quite interesting that you started off with stocks. Um, is there anything that you learned early on in stocks that kind of uh, that you still use to this day? Mm, the only thing about the stocks, like the stocks were so early and I didn't really I didn't stay there long because of the hours I was I was full time working mm. and also because of the volume. Um like with the stocks that I would pick, which were the lower price stocks and and like the volume aspect of it is what really pushed me to go to the Forex market. So just knowing that um, there's enough volume in every trade, like that's what really keeps me here in Forex, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I had the same thought process when I was looking into trading and it just seemed like the Forex market is just there's so much more liquidity and so right. there's 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 uh the, there's less manipulation that one entity can actually make exactly. on, on the particular price chart and um yes. so yeah fx i would say um it's definitely a lot easier sometimes it depends on each person really because there, there are mm. a lot of successful stock traders um but okay so you've obviously started your your journey with stocks then you moved on to forex 
Mm-hmm. So um, 13 years, it must have been, wow, a roller coaster of a ride for you. <laughs> when do you think... Um, when do you think you sort of hit that point where you thought, right, I know what I'm doing and now I just need to be consistent with this strategy? Um, I hit that point around like last year. Um, and it was, it was kind of like during the pandemic and I was really starting to get fed up with my, my work, my current work and knowing that the time that I spend on that work, if I spent it on trading, I knew I would be successful. So that that was kind of the point where I'm like, you know what, I have everything I need. I just need to dedicate myself. So that that was the really the point when I was like, you know what, stop messing around. (laughs) Just, you know, go all in and see where it takes you. Wow. And, and you know what? It's that's a clear example of literally just burning your bridges uh, and just deciding who you want to be and mm-hmm. where you want to go. You know, and it's just like so many people don't take that step. Uh, yeah. They have the potential, they have it in them, but it's just that it's just crossing that bridge, isn't it? And then burning it down, <laughs> and then yes. never and then never turning back. It's just yes. uh, it's a scary. I had to do that. Yeah, it's a scary thing to do, but because of that. It, you suddenly your your focus suddenly shifts a hundred percent to trading mm-hmm. and you fully immerse yourself in in the process and and then yeah it, it's no surprise that that was the turning point for you as a trader yeah. um uh, and, and obviously you know there was just there's so much going on during the lockdowns and the whole pandemic it's mm-hmm. uh a, a lot of people obviously were going through very difficult times and so yeah being able to achieve what you've achieved during that period is is commendable. It's actually pretty amazing. It's very inspirational as well. I'm sure there's many traders out there that are experiencing something similar. They might be in a job they don't want to be, or they're experiencing difficulty at work and they just, they know they've got it in them, but then they, they just haven't taken that step. And so, you know, you can inspire many traders out there, especially any, any female traders out there that are thinking about yeah. take, starting trading in the first place. I mean, it mm. can it can be done, and you, you're obviously demonstrating your talent with uh, with the competition. Um, so you're in the competition. I mean, what made you what made you participate in this uh, the trading app competition? Um, really, it was you know I got the email, and you know I've been following CTI. I've been um, interested in possibly becoming a funded trader. And so this was an opportunity for one, for me to just um, have some fun in a a challenge, right? But also see how much money like I could actually make. (laughs) Like I feel like just having it in a challenge, like that that competition aspect helped me to kind of say, okay, how can I like at least be in the top running, you know what I'm saying? Like, how can I, how can I be competitive enough to where, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really in the competition, you know? So that, that was motivation for me to just refine my strategy even more to create that extra mm, that I needed. Yeah. Yeah. So it's more, it's mostly a personal challenge for you then to see what you can, what you're really made out of yes yeah fantastic and so how do you think you're performing so far then um actually I'm a little disappointed with my performance (laughs) (laughs) okay all right even though I'm up you know more than 10 percent right now um in in how long of a space how how long is that when did you start the competition I started right at the beginning so um well I don't remember the date I think it was the beginning of May right Wow, I don't so ten percent <laughs> since the start of May, and you're disappointed. <laughs> yeah, only because of the rest of the competition. Like you know, looking well, at up the other traders, it just makes me want to do better. That's it, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's the, the stuff I understand. It's just there's one thing about these competitions that I've noticed uh, and trading. 
in a, they have a lot of similarities, but at the same time, they have a lot of differences. Because when you're actually trading live, mm -hmm. you, you don't really see um, a leaderboard. You don't see how other traders are performing, right? So it's it's you versus you. But being mm -hmm. in a competition, suddenly you have a new variable to consider. And you what you've just experienced is that even though you are you have a phenomenal, absolutely amazing performance, right? Just by the fact that there are people doing better than you. You, it mm -hmm. kind of you feel this disappointment like oh man I should be doing better yeah I, you know I, you know and it's like so then I will you need to try and overcome that and realize hold on a minute this competition I started it for me to see how, how I can perform you know I should be focusing That's on true. my lane yeah. right and forget forget all the others right forget them mm -hmm. it's this is about me versus me right it's yeah. you versus you Felicia it's it just, is. and You've you've come a long way in your journey. You've uh, you're obviously um, you know you haven't given up. A lot, so many people would have given up. I mean, the majority of people give up in the first six months anyway. Right? Mm -hmm. It's uh, and but you haven't. And in in fact, you've cut your bridges. You've um, you you've taken that sort of um, investment in yourself, that commitment to change career to something that you're really passionate about. Um, and you're up ten percent in just a few weeks yeah seriously <laughs> so I, I would say give yourself a pat in the back uh you know yeah give yourself thank a pat you in the back, uh and be be really proud of where you are on your journey yeah well, good good um uh because this is trading is tough it is tough so I'm, I'm very curious now what what kind of strategy you follow so um i see here you, you you're sharing your um mt4 platform yeah for terminal so yeah could you run us through what your performance is like currently and and uh how you, yeah a little bit about your strategy okay um well right now i'm at about 7600 in profit um since the beginning of the competition and um so, and I really didn't even trade this week. <laughs> this week has been emotionally a, a stress ball for me. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I didn't trade this account during this week because I would have been less than it. So yes, <laughs> yeah. that's one win for me. Um, all right. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of talk about my strategy. Um, all right. So normally, and this is, I couldn't figure this out before the meeting. I don't <laughs> normally use the online version. I usually trade from my phone. Okay. And okay. So I, wow, that's even more impressive. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. I wanted, I wanted it like when I set up, set up my trading strategy, I wanted it to be something that I can do anywhere, something that wouldn't take up all of my time yeah. Um, because I want to have that life freedom. That's, that's a big reason why I did quit my, my job. So it was important for me to be able to trade from my phone. Oh, wow. That's a, yeah. that's a and, you, you, <laughs> and you're doing just that. So I'm, yeah, I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, now I'm all ears. I'm really curious. About your strategy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's very, it's very simple. I only keep two, um, two indicators on my chart. The first is the eight SMA, yeah, which is this here. And then I have the 21 SMA. Right. And, and this just helps me like to see price action a little bit clearer, see when it goes into a consolidation and when we're in a trend. Yeah. So um, um, when I get to the chart, usually I trade... Honestly, I've been trading higher time frames, like from like the one hour to the one week. Okay. I trade um, like my base trades start from those time frames. And do you use um, those uh, MAs on each time frame? The yes. same MAs, yeah. Okay. Yes, I use the same um, look and feel of all of my charts. I really don't change it up. Um, wow. And then. So the first thing I would do, like when I look at this chart is I see like this big consolidation here. So like, and honestly, like my 
my strategy, I kind of came up with some weird like names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this I'm right curious. here, what I what I've sectioned off is what I would call a mother candle because it has a baby inside of it, which uh, means, <laughs> that, <laughs> like it has yeah. like right after it. If I go from wick to wick, there's a body inside that that portion, right? So when I see a mother candle, I pay attention because that is like that consolidation area helps me to bounce off when it comes out of it, you know? Wow. So, I love that name. You have officially converted <laughs> me. I am no longer going to see spinning tops. I'm now going to see <laughs> mother candles. and <laughs> Yes. The mother candle and the baby candle. <laughs> and the baby candle. That's it. That's all I'm going to see from now on. So my, when I'm when I'm on live streams, people are gonna be like, "What was he talking about? What's this mother candle? What's this baby candle?" I'm like, "Check out Felicia's interview, then you'll know." <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. So, so since I see this big consolidation here, uh, normally I would even go up one time frame just to make sure. And so this this mother candle actually extends a little bit lower, so I'm gonna extend it and then go back down to the one hour. Okay, so we like, okay, so when price comes out, I could initially take, okay, okay, so there's two things that I would do. The initial breakout of this mother candle, um, I don't know how to call it, a zone. So this mother candle zone, like I'm looking for a mother candle on the edge of it that I can break out of, right? So we can see this right here is on the edge of it. It's a mother candle, but the next one broke below it. So I would actually want to use this one instead um, just because um, I want to use the lowest low or the highest high for my break because then I know there's momentum in the trade. Um, and I'm not sitting in a trade um, waiting for it to move. I, I wait for a momentum, like, way to get into it, right? Yeah, that, right. Makes, yeah, that does make sense, yeah. Um, that, otherwise, it could turn into a fake out, isn't it? Right, it can turn into a fake out. Um, and that's definitely something I'm I'm trying to avoid, right? So, right, this was the mother candle. And then I, I once we see that it's, a mother candle, but there, there's that extra here. I would want to enter here, but um, as price doesn't get there, I start to refine my entry a little bit and say, okay, um, all right. So do you use the candle closes when you enter? Do you wait um, for the candle to close on, on the one hour time frame? No, I would, I would put in a stop, um, stop entry at the end of the wick oh right i see yeah and i oh. i'm sorry i don't know how to use this <laughs> that's all right you... <laughs> so that would that would have been my entry all right but then it didn't hit right so i'm like okay well there's another green candle oh that's another thing when i want to go short i want to break a green candle yeah because i know that price is definitely reversing and it's definitely got momentum if it hit the, the low of that green candle on the next candle. So oh, okay. um, those are kind of some things in my head that I'm always being aware of. All right, so we refine this entry to the next green candle and then it hit on the next one. So we know we've got momentum. And um, in the past, I, I was using Fibonacci um, as a take profit. So yeah. the, the 261.8 would have been a take profit for me. But um, during the competition, I actually refined my exits by going down one time frame mm -hmm. and following the highs for each red candle, like by three. So I'm following three back red candles. So one, two, three, my stop loss would have been here. And I keep moving it forward. And that's how I got really great take profits <laughs> by just um, coming back to the charts and moving that three candles forward. 
Wow. Okay. So do you check? So you you would check the charts every sort of half an hour, every hour when you're managing a trade. Yeah. So for like a, a one hour time frame, I would check it every three hours because I'm wait like I want three candles to print. Well, it depends. So when I get started, it's I'm waiting three hours for it to like move forward yeah. and then um, I'll be able to move it up. Maybe, you know, yeah. so yeah. it's really every three hours. Um, I would uh, come back to manage my stop loss. I can see why you can actually do this with a with a phone. That's yeah. a, it's, it's a strategy that you pretty much you're looking at that one chart. You're mm-hmm. managing that one trade. Uh, and, oh, by the way, yeah, do you manage one trade at a time or, or uh, do you have? Multiple? I only I only manage two pairs. I don't I don't trade more than two pairs at one time. And that's the UJ and the AU. Um, Those are the only two pairs I've been trading on this competition um, just to keep my focus. um, Because more pairs just makes me way confused. (laughs) Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah. that's all you need, really, to be honest. Obviously, you're demonstrating that. So. Mm -hmm. From a, a risk management point of view, what kind of risk have you been using for the competition? Because you're up just over 10%. Uh, you're, I think, almost mm-hmm. 15% you're up. Yeah, I used um, 0.5% risk on each trade. Right. And sometimes, like, really, that that's enough for me to get, like, for each um, trading opportunity, I do 0.5% so that I can add up to two additional trades to it. Um, so I can get at least 1.5% risk on each opportunity. That That is the goal to add to each one, right? Yeah. Um, so I start start with the 0.5% on the one hour. I go down like two time frames to the 15 minutes, see if I can get in a smaller position at another 0.5%. And the um, stop loss, would it be a, the original stop loss or would you refine your stop loss as well? I would you... refine um, on the lower time frame. I use oh, right. that stop loss. So it's very much a sort of a momentum strategy, isn't it? Yes. It's very much. Yeah, okay. I love it. It's, it's, uh, I can see why it's working so well for you. Um, I like your refinements as well. I, I do something similar with my st- stop losses. Um, mm-hmm. I go down a lower time frame to find a, a better sort of a better stop loss position. And that way it increases your risk reward and mm-hmm. it increases the lot size, even though yeah. you're, you're still risking 0.5%. Yeah. But just, yeah. Uh, but having and this yeah. on the original, like the, the hour, I don't move that stop loss until like I'm able to move it down on the lower time, like enough to get it past, you know? So they will initially have different stop losses. And then once price progresses, they'll they'll start to be in sync with each other. Yeah. Yeah. And how would you use the MAs then? So the MAs... Is that um, the, the secret sauce? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me get rid of this here. My, my strategy with the MAs is... If... If the candle that I want to break or like, so if it like either the mother candle or the baby candle must be touching the MA because then we're not too far away from the equilibrium um, in order to like not be stopped out. Yeah. So that this is kind of my protection of, of stop outs. Yeah. So because you get a reversion to the mean to that MA a lot, don't you? Yes. Yes. So, um, mm. as, as long as I'm already there and then I'm like, okay, <laughs> if, if I break this, then I shouldn't have been anyway, you know, but. Yeah. And if it's too is, far away, that means you kind of chasing it a little bit. Yes. You're chasing the price when it's not touching the MA and, and I want to be at equilibrium when I get in. So, I really don't get into a trade unless one of those candles in that, in that family of candles is touching an MA. So I really like to find like bounces like this when I enter, especially a bounce off the 21 MA because that's an even stronger, like hold, you know? Yeah. 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 
I really love your strategy. You're, you, 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 I can see that there is an edge in what you do. Uh, and it's, it's, it's really well, it's really good how you look at price action. I think you have a, you have a, definitely a skill for it. Um, because yeah, uh, the way, yeah, I can see why it works. It's, but it's, um, it's a, it's a matter of now being consistent with the process. You clearly have a process. You understand what you're doing. Now it's just a matter of just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, uh, and do you think the competition has actually improved you, pr- improved your edge? Yes, so much it has. Like, I'm so grateful for the competition because I don't think I would be this far along if, if it hadn't been for that, you know, because also like just being in the competition helps me to look at my personal life and what I need to continue to refine to show up for trading every day in like my best capacity, you know? So it's like, okay, (laughs) if I want to keep being in the run, you know, in the top 20, what am I doing? You know, that's keeping me from doing that, you know? So like just asking myself those questions because of the competition is helping me to just grow a lot faster. Okay. That's, that's, that's really interesting. And I think what you, you mentioned, you touched on something earlier as well as that, for the competition, you reduced to two pairs, right? Do you think that's actually helped with your performance where you're, you're, you're not focusing on so much anymore? Absolutely. And, and like prior to this, I had been trying to trade on the lower time frames, and it was like taking way more like time out of my day. And I was like, this is not working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, so. that, that's my life. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the M1 these days. Oh my gosh. It's yeah. just, then I'm glued to the charts for sure. Like I have to be at the computer if I'm trading like that. And yeah. I just, I don't want that. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean, but I, I, I love it. So I don't, mm. I don't mind it, but like, but you obviously you, you want the freedom. You've obviously mm-hmm. got other, other priorities in life. You, 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 you're doing this whole, the whole reason for this is for the freedom. And, mm-hmm. I, and I'm really happy that, the competition has actually forced you to improve. It's forced you to focus on almost like an 80, 20 elimination process. Like what is the 20% yeah. that actually makes me profit? Okay. Yeah. My favorite pairs, Aussie and UJ. Okay. Get rid of the rest. Okay. What yep. time frames can I have both the lifestyle and still have, have an edge? Okay. Mm-hmm. These are my time frames: Weekly, daily H1. And maybe go on the 15 minute, right? And so right. you've obviously back tested all of this. You've forward tested all of this. You know what works. You you have these little sort of tactical aspects of your edge where it's like the the, the candle has to touch the MA. Otherwise, it's just mm-hmm. you're chasing it, right? Right. So, I mean, all of these things are are part of your your edge as a price action trader. Mm-hmm. So um, I think I think you definitely. You, you're, you're definitely you definitely have an edge and so now it's just a matter of being consistent with it now even past this competition um i think you, you seem ready to to go for funding really i, I really do believe in you and your strategy you just gotta believe in yourself <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> i'm i'm definitely feeling like i'm if if i don't get a win during the the challenge i'm just gonna go ahead and and go buy a challenge because I, I do feel 100% ready now. Like I'm going to pass the challenge. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and, and 15% in, in, in less than a month that would pass any, any evaluation out there from any prop firm. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, the CTI evaluation itself is 7%. We've got, um, we've got the new standard funded trader program, which is 9%. Mm. Um, um, I mean, you do have the 30 active trading days to consider. Right. Um, so, I mean, but you've already gone past the target in the first place. So it's just a matter of like continuing your trading. So you, you've obviously demonstrated that you can pass an evaluation. So I think, yeah, you should, you should definitely give it a go. I'm looking forward to seeing more of your success, um, because uh, you've obviously demonstrated uh, not only to us, but to yourself, most importantly, that you can do it. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much.
<laughs> so um all right so do, do you have any sort of questions for us or any advice for other traders out there that are in a similar position to you um i would just say oh man i do have some advice like at, over the 13 years like i have like put this down, picked it up, you know, said, I'm not doing this anymore. And I still came back to it because I felt so like passionate about it. Like I really did like love it and still do. So if it's like in your heart, like continue to just go after it, continue to look at the other things in your life that are are keeping you from that passion that you really want to put more effort into and it'll come to you. Um, everything will start falling into place. So just don't give up. And yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you for that advice. I'm sure a lot of traders really need to hear that. And if, even if you can just impact one trader, you've made a difference. So thank you for that, Felicia. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, wish you all the best of luck. Oh, by the way, are you, there is another competition coming up. Are you going to be oh, part of that as well? I didn't hear about it. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. All right. I would so, love to. Uh, well, uh, good. All right. Well, um, are you on our Discord community? Oh, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There is a, a channel uh, under competition called Next Competition, and then there's a link yes. in there. Otherwise, I'll send, actually, that. I'll send you. I'll send you the um the registration link anyway. Afterwards, I'll I'll, I'll send you an email with it, so okay. you can uh, go ahead and do that. Um. So yeah, I mean, it's there'll obviously be some prizes as well. Um, yeah. In that. Um, so yeah, there's the you. I mean, we've got another um, week and a half left for this competition. So uh, you, there's still opportunity, massive opportunity for you yes. to reach the, the top ten. Uh, sorry, my my cat just jumped on my lap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he wants he wants he wants to be on YouTube. <laughs> oh, cutie pie. <laughs> yeah, say hello. To the world, Batman. <laughs> oh my gosh, is his name Batman? His name's actually I Batman. I love that. <laughs> oh, what what is it? Yeah, it's Batman. Oh man, I love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> enough, enough cuddles. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll keep that one for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep it, keep it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> all right, Felicia. Uh, well, thank you, Felicia, and uh, wish you the best of luck. And, thank you, Rodrigo. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing more of your success. Take care. Thanks, you too. What a pleasure it was to meet Felicia. The fact that she burnt her bridges and focused solely on trading is so inspirational. And she has such a good understanding of her strategy. And she is doing so well, as you can see. So... If you are interested in the next competition, make sure that you register below. The links are in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and send this video to another trader who you think might be inspired by Felicia's story. So on that note, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.